science is such an exhilarating, wonderful activity where every day you're trying to dig deeper into the secrets of nature. And every day, if you're lucky, you make a little bit of progress. Stanley Prusner made more than a bit of progress. He discovered the prion, a lethal brain protein with secrets of its own. This is the simplest pathogen, and prions change their shape. They become rogue proteins, and then these rogue proteins stimulate more of the normal form of the protein to be converted into the rogue. And that process continues and continues and continues until the animal or the human with a prion disease dies. Prusiner began to unravel the mystery of prions while trying to help a patient infected with Creutzfeldt-Jakob disease, or CJD, which we now know is the human form of mad cow disease. She didn't have a fever. She had no increase of white cells in her blood, none in her cerebral spinal fluid. And I thought, this is really very odd. And one of the attendings said to me, Stan, you should read about the sheep disease, Scrapey. Scientists suspected a slow virus was the cause of CJD, Scrapey, and similar mammalian infections, such as Kuru and mad cow disease, though this theory had yet to be proven. Undaunted, Prusner was determined to define the molecular structure of the elusive cause of these brain diseases. I decided that with all my biochemical training that this might be a great project to undertake. But I truly expected that I would find an interesting virus. What he found instead was a wholly new idea, the rogue protein he termed prion. I didn't expect that I would find something dramatically new and different. At first wildly controversial, Stanley Prusiner's work has stood the test of time, helping us understand transmissible disease and leading to better diagnostic tests and safer food supplies. If you're really lucky, you discover something that no one else has ever known before, and there's no better feeling than that.